everyone this is michael from mikimola.com today's tutorial will be about creating a login page uh, with the pdo prepare statements so in this tutorial we'll be creating an html uh, form with uh, their input field also we'll be creating a php script um, with the prepare statement to actually that actually basically um, submit your forms to the database table. So what are the things that um, you need to put on your checklist? You need to try, uh, you need to ensure that you already um, have your database table created. Also, you need to actually uh, make sure that you uh, basically uh, have a script, a, PH, a script basically that connects the database table because we'll be mixes of that in our, uh, in this code. So, but uh, if you don't have one yet, I actually created a video, which I'll be dropping in the uh, description below, on how to create a connection to my SQL database using PDO, basically. Um, so, what, what's, what's, what are the advantages of uh, the advantages that we have actually making use of a prepare statement it is it has a it uses fewer resources it is faster because it passes query once and it can actually you know basically it executes these queries in multiple times with the same or different parameter also one of the key uh, advantage of uh, you know using a prepare statement is actually uh, you know it doesn't need uh, the parameter to be quoted uh, at the point where you're actually, you know, doing your query. Uh, so this actually protects you against SQL injection. So a lot of people will say, what's 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 SQL, uh, you know, injection? Basically, is the code injection technique used to attack data-driven application. So they can actually use it to actually, you know, put a malicious uh, uh, SQL statement and insert it into your. Uh, into your database for execution. So, these are basically things I will actually, you know, like to talk about. I think maybe at the end of the video, on the course of this uh, tutorial, I will be explaining a few others. So, I'm going to jump into the code right now. So, I'm going to create my HTML and um, call the title login form, create my form, put the inputs, name it email, form email and uh, make it required because I want the users to actually uh, fill in that field. The password, and I will make it required also. I will create my submit button and call it, uh, the type making it submit and calling it form submits and the value login. The action, I wanted to actually load this page because I have my PHP script up of the HTML here. I want to use um, uh, the post method basically and um, I'm going to create my PHP script here this is where I need the database uh, connection you know I said it earlier in the video so you can actually you know check the link uh, in the description of this video to actually get a tutorial on that um, call it PDO database so I am using my if statement to check if the submit button was clicked and the and uh, also getting the uh, variables for each field getting that of the password and um, very important i um, i like using try and cache because this help it uh, it help really 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 helps them when it comes to trying to trace back your where you actually you know made a mistake in aspect of your errors or maybe your queries and the rest. Basically, I use a trash and cache and um, to echo the errors. So I use PDO exception and, um, and I echo uh, the error get message. So now we're going to actually go into the validation. Uh, basically, I call it validation query. So, so I'm going to actually use the variable from the required ones so from the database uh, table created um, above here. 
So I'm going to use my prepared and I'm going to use my query, select from this registration, which is the table you created via email is this. So now the question mark is, you know, this is the part where I said the parameter does not need to be quoted because of, uh, to protect us against uh, SQL injection. So this is the password to go the same route and then I say cute. So this is where I'm going to actually, you know, quote my parameter here. And uh, I will use if statement to check if this login information exists on the database. So I'm going to just going to say uh, validation query will count to check if it is greater than zero. If it's greater than zero, that means the email exists. If it's not, then the email does not exist. So as you can see, this is so short and straightforward. It makes it easier for you actually, you know, to just you know, create your login form without so much hassle. So we're going to do a little bit of test to check whatever it is. So already on the database table, I created the login information, which I'm going to use here. I'm going to just call it, I call the email test at mikimula.com and I use my password. So it says email exists. As you can see, that means my password is actually, you know, uh, sorry, my login information is correct. So let's take it down. I just say tests, tester, I'm just a tester at mikimula.com. And I just, I used the same, you know, the right password. And um, just say email does not exist. So basically, you know, this is to show you that. Um, Everything we actually did is working fine. Um, if you're getting any other message error, basically, you can just drop your comment and then let me know what it is and I can actually help you to, to you know, resolve whatever the error might be. So that's the end of the video tutorial and um, please kindly subscribe to our channel so you can get notification whenever we post a video. Thank you so much for your time. You stay blessed. Bye.